Gulon in Alfheim? I'm sled trained by the looks of it. Most unusual. I've never seen such obedience in Gulon. There is some kind of magic at work. Regardless, it should make desert travel downright pleasant. Were it not for a brutal sandstorm. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? How do you hope to find anything in all this? Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Gulon and Alphine? Weird. What are they doing here? I do not know. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? This cave extends underneath the desert. Aye. A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Perhaps we'll find Atreus's wounded animal down here. Lead the way, Kratos. I trust you to not get us lost underground. This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. <sighs> Great. Ah! These poor elves, blinded by hate, lashing out at everything and everyone for their fate. They will not listen to reason. Combat is unavoidable. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know. Still, I wish it were not the case. You know, now that I know more about the Dark Elves, I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alpha, can you really blame them? This creature Atreus heard, why wait until now to free it? It was not a priority. We were too busy attempting to stave off Ragnarok to indulge in any desert dalliances. A shame. I imagine Atreus would have enjoyed a quest to free an injured animal. Yes, he would have. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to twist the knife. You did not. Atreus has chosen his path. I trust him to be safe. The creature you heard, what does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I wish I had your confidence with my own son when he was Atreus's age. Balder craved adventure, but with the words of the Norns repeating in my head... Your worry consumed you. As my rage once did to me. You overcame it, eventually. Thanks to Atreus. And his mother. Yes. Perhaps if Odin had loved his children as much as he loved using them, both would still be with us. I've never been this interested before. When I talk to animals, or enchanted rings, or whatever. Much has changed. For both of us. Well... Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. Atreus reminds me more of Freyr in his youth than of Baldur. His sensitivity, his compulsion to help any and all in need. That is his mother's influence. Despite all attempts to train him otherwise, Atreus was eager to help lost spirits or... 
Run errands for the dwarves during our travels together. Faye's influence runs deeper than that. Why do you think you're the one assaulting a cave full of hostile dark elves to save a wounded creature? Mm -hmm. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? If you wish to abandon this creature, we will leave. Well, no. I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there... I remember a young lad who, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Excursions like this once served as training for Atreus. Or an excuse to gather resources while testing his abilities. But I made him a promise. His voice as my guide. And his voice told you to come out here? He would approve. Strange, that means more to me now than it did before he left. You've said it yourself. Atreus takes after his mother. His approval is her approval. It's just... Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. A Hakufa? I haven't seen one since I was a child. Great Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half Hakufa I've ever laid eyes on! But how are you? Sounds familiar. It's the Song of the Sands. We don't normally sing like this underground. That must be the cause of the storm. Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. There must be a way to cut it loose. I'd wager that there's nothing here a well-placed throw of the axe can't solve. the largest bloody half you I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. We don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lund. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Yeah, there we go. It looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. How in the realms did they capture such a large one? Hafkafas are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. Even though it's bound by their hive? Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves, any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. But if this is true, are we doing more harm than good by destroying this hive? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Freyr would have wanted us to do everything in our power to restore this realm. We will free it. Why did they trap it down here? Hafgafas are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. 
but it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? <sighs> no. Then let us free it. Here! You should be able to cut this part away and free the half Goofa! I'd see a half goofa fly again. Can't believe the lad missed this. The storm is gone. The song of the sands has returned to Alfheim, albeit somewhat diminished from how I remember it as a child. The trace will be glad to hear it is no longer in pain. You look forward to telling him. One day, yes. You gave him a gift, allowing him to walk his own path. I know that wasn't easy. I know you cared for him as well. You have always done right by Atreus. He is the best of us. <sighs> well, nice to be able to have a real conversation out here for once. This is the spot! We can cut the half goofa loose here! It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. Well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I.